My life has been forever changed by suffering six traumatic brain injuries that went undiagnosed and untreated uh, while I played just over nine years in the NHL. I'm very in tune with my body and I could tell that if, if I kept playing, if I kept sustaining those blows, um, I, don't, I really don't know if I'd, if I'd be here right now. To know where I was last year, I was experiencing convulsions and tremors and um, uh, speech deficits and it had disrupted our life so much so and so we came to Plasticity and had such great results that we wanted to keep moving forward. I'm just so grateful that we have a place to come to, you know? I mean, yeah. because, you know, a lot of people don't know about this and uh, they're, they're at a place where we used to be, where we're thinking, okay, this is just as good as it gets, you know? We never wanted to stop right there and we wouldn't, we would move the earth, you know? Um, but thank God for this place um, because Brian is moving forward and we're and we're hoping for my husband to move forward also. I mean, even just the short time that he's been here, um, he has never walked this long before. He wasn't able to. Back in 2016, I was diagnosed with um, progressive MS. I have to walk with a walker and so, um, you know, I had like a lot of brain fog. So I decided that, you know, um, I was going to try Plasticity Brain Center because what it done for Brian and all the good things I seen. It was almost like every little bit, every week, I did something that I had never been able to do before. And so that was a little bit of a, a roller coaster. To each time something was thrown at me, how I handled it. And then you just kind of go, okay, I handled that. Okay, I handled that. And you get more and more confident in it. And then the kids are like, okay, we've got this now. My vision was really bad. My light sensitivity was bad. My mood swings were bad. My sleep schedule was bad. I mean, you know, getting treatment and then coming back. And, you know, my son asked me to go play outside. And my first thought was, yes, I don't have to overthink it. And I don't have to, well, if I go out there without glasses and I'm gonna have a headache for the rest of the day and I don't wanna deal with that. And it, no, it's just a yes immediately because I wanna be with him. You know, I wanna be a good dad. Yeah. What we started to notice after our first treatment was she could get startled and we didn't have to lay on the floor. You could get too warm outside and we didn't have to take the breaks. That was the biggest, was kind of like, wait a minute, we've, we've built up that endurance. And that was the big difference to us and that's what brought us back to make sure we, we stayed on that trail. It, it, it's so worth it because it helps so much. And then when Brian stands up with his feet flat uh, for the first time, and you're able to let go of him for a second, you know, um, that is so big. You can get sick, you can acquire disease, but you can be rehabilitated. And, um, and, and that's what a place like the Plasticity Brain Center did for me. And the Carrick Institute, and, you know, they saved my life. And when you have a place like this that you know you can come to and they help you, um, it's just, it's just overwhelming, you know. You know, Dr. Antonucci had said something about getting me back to my old self. And what he doesn't understand is, right, this is new territory for us. We've never been here before. So we don't want to go back to my old self <laughs> because I've never been this healthy in my life. So that's what this place did. I've never been optimistic about growing old because I always knew what that held for me. I'm not, I can be optimistic now.